it appears the Trump campaign has been accused of money laundering through companies connected to their former campaign manager. Uh, so now their former campaign manager is, of course, Brad Parscale, who over the weekend had a bit of a mental break uh, where he, you know, well, okay, let me get to the details later. But first, very important stuff. Campaign Legal Center, a nonpartisan campaign finance watchdog group, just filed a complaint with the FEC on Tuesday accusing the Trump campaign of laundering about $170 million through numerous companies, some with connections to former Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale. It's reporting in that liberal rag, Forbes. Uh, now, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, the campaign accuses, uh, I'm sorry, the complaint accuses the campaign and the Trump Make America Great Again Committee of disguising nearly $170 million in campaign spending. Uh, wow, that's a pretty big chunk of change. I mean, you know, Donald Trump owes more more to some random people that we don't know who they are. He owes about, what, $421 million to maybe other countries? I don't know. We don't really know. But he's got these obligations that are coming due very soon. Uh, and, of course, that's been the news. It's been dominating the news for at least the last couple of days uh, since it came out with the New York Times with their first piece on Trump's taxes. Um, but this seems like it's probably connected in some way. I mean, Brad Parscale, he was under investigation, it turns out. His finances were being probed, uh, and he was also found to have been, uh, have uh, actually had lied to Congress, okay? And so let me give you some of the details on that. Uh, so now this is about a uh, Trump campaign data leak. And so now... Uh, apparently, in 2016, the Trump campaign had tried to be a part of voter suppression of African-American voters. And so, yeah, uh, now Parscale testified to Congress that he did not do that, that he did not target by race specifically in get out the vote and or persuasion efforts. Parscale testified under oath. The data uh, that was leaked revealed that Parscale was being less than honest about this. Uh, he was also asked, did, I, did he participate in a voter suppression operation that targeted African Americans? Uh, again, he was uh, apparently less than honest, according to data from Cambridge Analytica. And so, great fun times. Uh, so now, we all know what happened to Parscale over the weekend. You get a little bit of a men uh, mental breakdown, probably as a result of this. Uh, he got smashed, barricaded himself into his house with a bunch of guns because of America, uh, came out with a beer in hand to police officers because of America, and got tackled by said police officers because of America. Now, that's about the most American story that I've ever seen. And now he is currently in a, some sort of facility in Florida. So it is pretty interesting timing, again, with uh, the Trump, you know, revelations with him being uh, uh, accused of being a tax dodger uh, and a criminal. Now, the complaint adds that the firms were headed by Trump's recent campaign manager, Parscale, and created uh, and or created by Trump's campaign lawyers and alleges that Trump campaign uh, paid millions of dollars to campaign connected vendors without reporting those payments to the Federal Election Commission, specifically homing in on American made media consultants, a firm created by Parscale which was paid over $106 million, making it the campaign's largest vendor. So, great! Nice. Uh, now, look, we don't know if the allegations are, are true. Obviously, there needs to be more investigation, but if any of this is true, it looks like Parscale is in a lot of trouble. A lot of legal trouble. Which, again, could explain the breakdown. It could be that he knew that the chickens were coming home to roost and everybody around Trump, including himself, is going down and going down hard.